Hello, welcome back everyone. I am your amigo Pratap Rao. As usual, I enjoy discussing books in this channel most of the time. I'm fascinated by science books. I believe that it tends to be more grounded in reality where it's compared to the other genres of books. Although some of the terms and words are difficult to understand and believe, one thing I appreciate about science book is that it don't have any nonsense like uh, religious testers, uh, false narratives like uh, fictions, uh, self-help books. Uh, horrors like uh, mystery novels and uh, many more and what science book has a pure information a sin to a nature and existence itself even though one day the world collapses and we have to start from the scratch from the egg i believe all the discoveries we have made through science will remain constant or if even if it is changed i don't think so there will be a much changes i guarantee that anyways that's my introduction to the today's topics so let's dive into the science books today so yes i have read only few books of the science but all, whatever the books i have read it is really amazing and i really enjoyed immensely so i came here to discuss about that book today okay let's get started with this book which i love the most and admire all the time and i which i want to reread again and again it's called cosmos by carl sagan to be honest i read it for three times already the book is fantastic carl sagan is my favorite author in science general in this book carl sagan discusses about the appearance and discoveries of universe from the big bang to even present and he also talked about how technology can build the connection between our world to the another world. Reading it made me believe that we are not alone in this universe. There are other planets in the extraterrestrial rim that we are yet to connect. And someday in the near future, we might be going to witness this happening. This best-selling book is a timeless gem. Even after the hundred years from now, uh, these books will going to captivate those who are uh, interested in science, especially those who are interested in the mysteries of galaxy and the black holes, especially. It is a blend of science and philosophy you must read. Check in the description below if you want to buy a copy. Next book I would like to recommend is The Genes and Intimate History by Siddharth Mukherjee. I came across this book when I was in college uh, when the, my professor were discussing with his colleagues regarding this book with great enthusiasm. Out of curiosity, I brought this book from Amazon without knowing whether I'm interested or not. I initially read two chapters and eventually I got bored and I stopped reading it. And it took me after two years to pick this book again and start reading it. Right now, I have a mature enough mind to uh, appreciate the contents of the book. Now, I am more focused and more selective on the book I am choose to read. I must say that this book gives incredible insights about the history of the genetics. Mukherjee brilliantly approaches the subject about the genetics in a philosophical manner. Even if you are not having a deep understanding about the genetics, this book will give you engaging and accessible. There is a wealth of knowledge you can grab from this book. So uh, and the amount of material it has within the 600 pages is quite substantial. I highly recommend this book uh, by Mukherjee, The Genes. Uh, so if you are interested in genetics or not, this book is going to give you an uh, insight about all the evolutions what we have came through. If you are interested to buy, link in the down in the description below, you can have your own copy. The next book I'm recommending is The Greatest Show on Earth by Richard Dawkins. Dawkins is brilliant and daring genius. You can pick up any other book of his like God Delusion, The Selfish Genes, uh, Unwaving the Rainbow and many more. The every chapter you're going to face that reality and factual information. There is no nonsense, uh, no unnecessary filler or jumping from one topic to another. He is just straight to the point. Talking processes a deep understanding about what he writes and he is very straightforward. Talkins is excel in presenting reality and evidence. When it comes to the, his work, is very compelling and thought-provoking. Okay, now let's focus on the book uh, Greatest Show on Earth by Richard Dawkins. It is a finest work by him uh, like any other. This book provides the comprehensive overview for supporting the evidence for the evolutionary theory. He started by explaining the fundamental principle of evolutionary theories such as 
natural selection, artificial selection, adaptation, and genetic variation. Then he explains the scientific disciplines like uh, embryology and molecular biology. Throughout these books, he uh, explains the uh, material which can be supports to the evolutions which which had uh, millions of years ago. Then he explores the scientific disciplines including embryology and molecular biology. Uh, he covered the all the concept which can be supportive to the gradual evolutions over the millions of years. Throughout this book, Darwin presents the numerical historical events spanning millions of years and uh, he also gives the compelling visuals that supports his argument. Additionally, his storytelling ability makes this greatest show on earth books as successful. I highly recommend these books to read. You can buy a copy, link in the description. The last book I want to recommend in this video, uh, which I read long time ago and which I also re recommended in other videos as well, that's, that is uh, the uh, Sapien the Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. It is an incredible, fascinating, thought-provoking book which gives the overview of humankind up to now. The author explores the development of evolution throughout time. The readers can experience the fascinating journey uh, of the human in all stages of human existence. From cognitive revolution to the agricultural revolution and on to the scientific revolution, Harari covers the wide range of information in this book. What sets these books apart is that it's going beyond scientific aspects and also covering the cultural and social dimension of human existence. Harari's storytelling abilities brings historical events to life and presents the speculative theories that makes readers more engaging. This book is popular even now, decades after its publication, sold millions of copies worldwide. I definitely recommend this book if you want to read this book. You can go to the description as always i say and you can order your copy anyways this is all i got in this video these are all four books i am recommending you to read if you are interested in science anyways i'm not specialized in science department so if you have any books which you want me to read and give my overview uh, so you can put that in uh, comment box i am uh, very uh, happy to uh, read that comment and very happy to buy the books and read it uh, so anyway, uh, I will meet you on the next video. Till then, uh, peace out.